given up the occupied territories. You know, we didn't say the occupied territory. In the resolution, it says occupied territory. So this piece here, is, a, is it not occupied territory? So yes. Is the means the whole thing that was concerned in 1967? No, 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 we didn't talk about that. We said occupied territory. We didn't say the occupied territory, and we lost. We lose, I'm telling you. No, they beat us, they beat us. Our cousins, Allah has gifted them. See, we have to learn now something from them to counteract their machinations. This is, if you know the language of a people, you can avoid their vices and their machinations. We don't. We are not equipped to really to give battle, an intellectual battle to the Jew. We are not equipped yet. However, that's besides the point. So, what they say? I'll drift it off. Look, by the way, on Friday we had this meeting here. Our chairman was saying that the tonight's meeting, four to six weeks' time, we'll get the videotape. You said something like that for tonight's meeting. This meeting on Friday, four days' time. Tapes are available outside. Four days. They're here. Pick them up. Pick them up. They're outside. I think there's a price for you to pay. Get them. Of the Friday's meeting, um, Easter, a Muslim viewpoint. What makes Good Friday good? You remember the talk. The tape is available outside. So, our, we say the first miracle of Jesus was to turn water into, ah, that woman, that woman. What is Jesus to do? So he says, let him who is free from sin cast the first stone. Those who are sinless among you, let them start stoning. And so saying, he started, he sat in, on the ground and started scribbling in the sand. No, no, I'm reading the Bible to you. He started scribbling in the sand. It was a doodling, doodling in the sand. So I'm asking the Christians, what was he doodling? Nobody knows. I'm telling you, in my life, I haven't come across a Christian who can tell me what this Jesus was doodling. I'm telling you, you ask any Christian, what was he doodling? Nobody knows. I say, I tell you, my theory, I may be wrong. I says he was doodling the names of the people who were watching over his shoulder. It's human nature. We are inquisitive. When somebody is writing, we want to know what he's writing. So, these accusers of that woman, they're watching what he's writing. He's writing combination of names. This guy, watching over his shoulder, his John, he has something to do with a woman called Elizabeth has been committing adultery. So he writes, John and Elizabeth. Like I say, this guy knows about me. Shh, out he goes. He knows about me. Next guy is Matthew. So Matthew and Mary. See, he knows about me. This bloody rubbish, he knows about me too. Shh, out he goes. Everybody who's looking over his shoulder through prophetic, prophetic knowledge, he's able to put down those combinations. You, whoever you are, you are, a, you are Smith. I said, the Smith fellow has something to do with, with Rosetta or whatever. <laughs> everybody, he's hitting everybody for a sixer. That doodling. He's, with that doodling, he's hitting them for a sixer. You know, like Don Bradman, you had one here. MCC. You remember? Oh, no, that was in Melbourne. I'll just tell you something amusing about Don Bradman. I was young. I was a schoolboy. I used to read in the newspapers, it says, MCC versus England. They're having it out in England. MCC, MCC. Say, MCC, Muslim Cricket Club. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, by God, look, I, I'm not trying to be clever. I'm telling you, I didn't know Melbourne. I didn't know this. Australia and all that I knew nothing about. As a schoolboy, I'm reading Don Bradman, MCC, MCC. I said, I, I favor them. I'm worried. I want them to win. You know why? It's a Muslim cricket club. <laughs> so he hit everybody for a sixer, like Don Bradman. Now he looks up and he's asking the woman, he says, woman, where are thine accusers? 
The guys who are accusing you of adultery, where are they? He says, no, sir, they are no more, they're gone. So he said, go, sin no more. Because those guys were out to catch him out. Jesus is telling you all are adulterers. You all deserve to be stoned to death. And you are convicting this woman. And if this woman was guilty, you caught her in the act. Where was the man? Where was the man? You sexist, where was man? You caught her in the act. Where? What was the woman doing? What was the man doing? Where is that man? No, no, no. It's only the woman you are after. You are sexist. Go, go for it. Just because they are poor women, you want to victimize her. So I says, now this is how, this is how, the miracle. So Jesus Christ, he tells his mother, she, what have I got to do with thee? He calls, woman, woman, why, where are thine accusers? Same word he uses for his mother. Woman, I can't believe it. The title you use for a prostitute, you use that same title for your mother. In your language, you Jews, I say, haven't you got a word called mother? Um in Arabic, same thing in Hebrew. In English, it says mother. In Gujarati, it says ma. In Urdu, it says ma. Or it says amma. Man, in every language. In the African, it says mama. It says, man, every language has got a respectful way of addressing your mothers. Not woman. You don't call your mother woman, do you? Huh? You lout? You barbarian? What? You call your mother woman? You deserve to be stoned. And Jesus said that honor your father and your mother. This is the words of Jesus. Honor your father and your mother. And he said, whosoever dishonoreth his father or his mother, let him die the death. He should die. Kill him. This is what Jesus said. And he himself doing that? I said, no. Jesus would never do that. The Quran comes to his rescue. It says, Wabarram biwalidati. In Surah Maryam, chapter 19, it says, Wabarram biwalidati. He was kind to his mother and not overbearing or miserable. The Quran exonerates him. He wasn't like that. Jesus, I don't know. Friend or foe, how they made to put these words inside, we don't know. But when he was persuaded by his mother, he turned water into wine. That's what we are told. John chapter 2. At the marriage feast has Cana. He turned water into wine. And since then, wine has flowed like water in Christendom. In Christendom, in America, 45 million alcoholics. 45 million alcoholics. They call them problem drinkers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Every nation has got funny, funny ways of calling them. Heavy drinkers, problem drinkers. Not drunkards. You don't call them drunkards. You call them alcoholics. They're sick people. Poor people. They're sick. Wine has flowed like water in Christendom. The first miracle of Jesus in the Quran now. That was the first miracle of Jesus in the Bible. In the Quran, chapter 19. Chapter 19, Surah Maryam. You know, there is a chapter in the Quran called Surah Maryam, meaning chapter Mary. Who's Mary? Who's this Mary? Mother of Muhammad? No, no, no. It's the mother of Jesus Christ. In honor of her name, there is a chapter enshrined in the Quran, chapter 19, as Surah Maryam. I said, such an honor is not to be found given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, even in your Bible. Do you know that? You have no such book as Mary in your Bible. This is the... This is the King James Version, the Protestant Bible, 66 books. It starts with Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and, blah, 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 and then Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Peter, Paul, James. Mary is not one of them. Mary is not one of them. In the Roman Catholic Bible, same, same. Mary is not one of them. In the Quran, you have a chapter called Maryam, Surah Maryam, chapter Mary, ayah number 23. That after the birth of the child, the circumstances being peculiar, the Quran says she had retired to a remote place in the east. After the birth of the child, she brings the baby and she comes to her village. 